we will all offer the prayer of meditation. No matter how much we say we're repenting, whatever we think about is sin. When we look at our ancestors, now we realize that all those ancestors' sins have come to, down to me. Thank you for giving us this realization. And at this time, only by the mystery of God can we be forgiven of these sins. Help us to confess. Help us to be forgiven. And that those incredible blessings and love may we receive at this time. Lord, that promise where you say we can still do well with that hope, that's why we're here praying. The filthy th sins that come from our heart, may we confess them again. Because my flesh is my enemy, may we confess those sins too. And the heart that hates to keep God in our hearts, which is so filthy, envious, gossiping, even now slandering others. May this be a time where we can awaken from this death sentence. And may we pass this to our children. And may we be patriots to our country and our people. And may we do the precious work of saving the world. We believe it will surely happen according to the word. In Jesus' name, we thank you and bless. Amen. So with our eyes closed, the sins that come from our heart, let's look back upon them. So that's what our ancestors, three and four generations, that's eight families. You know, that's all coming down to me. But to try and live with that remaining, where there is sin, Proverbs chapter 13, verse 21, disasters follow. So 1 John chapter 3, verse 8, where there is sin, demons stick. The things that you hate to hear the most, that's what your ancestors have sinned. And it's the demons that stuck to your sin that hate to hear it. Because demons stick to sin, by the mystery of Christ, you have to be forgiven of your sins. So now I'm reducing the mystery of Christ and I keep talking about the mystery of God so that those people who, were, who belong to demons will, will understand. For us, it's the mystery of Christ. So in the world, these other religions, these churches without Christ, those churches, just because they're the same as those other religions, you know, don't criticize them. They say God, Jesus with their mouths, but they're the same. So don't don't judge according to the rumors, but because they don't have the mystery of God, the mystery of Christ, they cannot discern, and that's why they're the same as the demons. But all we have to do is discern. If you're not doing well and you're tormented already, it's because you're suffering from your ancestors' demons. God's word, which is sweeter than honey. If you hate to hear this, if someone says something and you hate to hear it, already that's someone who's falling to their ancestors' demons. It's so pitiful. But, um, but still he's given us this way of hope. If you like to have your name known, then you are the worst of demons. For, uh, for our name to be known 10% and then the rest for his name, no, he doesn't do that. 100% we have to only boast of the Lord Jesus Christ and the cross. If you have pride, that means you have demons sticking. Someone who seeks culture and manners first, Genesis chapter 3, verse 9. If you have sin, if you have demons, that's what you seek out. If it's, you know, manners and cultures, that's important. You know, our, our country is, you know, it's based on Confucianism. If you go to some other country 
then it's not right. So if it's changing this way and that way, that's not true. You say you believe in Jesus, but if you're not doing well, it means there's something that you're not right with Jesus. Who is Jesus? He obeyed to the point of death. But if you're told to do something, you're like, oh, but I'm tired. It's for you to fix your destiny, but you say dog talk that you're tired. When are you ever then going to do something to the point of death? This isn't some joke. This is God's commandment to us whether we go to heaven or hell. Mark chapter 12, verse 30 to 31. So how is it that your actions don't change? You know, the my bad things, it's unlimited. You know what Apostle Paul said? He said, I am the worst of 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 all the the evil people. If you are able to confess that with your own mouth, so what would you be upset about if someone says something to you? 1 Timothy chapter 1 verse 15. So you're not doing well, it's because you still have your your pride, the the sin, the demons. That person isn't righteous. So we have to become someone who shines. Someone who shines, that's someone whose desires are fulfilled. So if you can't even say amen, are you demons or are you the Holy Spirit? You're demons. And yet you sit there not saying amen. So if I was a fake, if I had dead eyes and I can't distinguish, would I just should I just leave them alone? If something's welded in, Let's say all the other steel's okay, but this this has this big amount of rust. Can, do you, are you still going to weld something? It won't work. So what is it you have to do? You have to smash it off. So Jesus' sermons, Luke chapter 19, verse 10, he seeks out that one lost sheep. So that demon who can't say amen, because of that person, the hammer has to go out. But... If that person doesn't understand, they're like, oh, our pastor is always just rebuking. There are so many idiots. If your neighbor, what is a fake church? They always talk about, you know, being, being part of some, you know, united group. You've come to do well. So, are you, do you treat your neighbor as yourself or someone else? That's the commandment. But to do things, you know, or just us, just us. The words that are pleasing to the ear, that is heresy. Do you think God said that out of boredom? You know, if I said things that were pleasing to the ear, you know, I could do things double-mindedly. But if your conscience lives, you can't do that. Who is someone that is truly loyal, a true servant? We learned about Kim Yushin. So Kim Yushin and Mai Mong Cheo, what are they? What's a good What's a good relationship? Even if someone doesn't want to hear it, to say correct words, that's a servant. You know, who is the right servant to the king? Someone who says correct words. But they did that all out of scheming. Someone who is truly faithful, there's nothing but correct words of God's word. This, the, these, these words, there's nothing but correct words. So if you do four-step repentance, you know, I'm someone who's looked at the history of the Li dynasty. And, you know, back then I had to sit the exams and it was one of the subjects. But once I've realized it's those who aren't in Christ, who are demons, who are double-minded, who are liars, you know, that's what you're paying money to learn about. So why is why are there no books to buy? Well, if someone was a man and they wrote it, then it's worth reading. But if some if some beast that is perish, perishing that wants to boast of its name is written a book, what's there to read about? But there are these idiots who buy it. So if someone's not right with the word, you need to teach them. So if you're suffering, if you're in difficulty, 
you know, I say, do you truly want to do well? We want to shine. Because if I shine, then a thousand generations shine. Why is it that you learn the things of the, the world? Why, why do you want to succeed in order to shine? So let's become someone who does. Oh, pastor, you know, rather than shining, I wish I could receive money. Well, you have to become someone who shines in order to be given money. You know, you say, Lord, but if you don't repent of your ancestors' sins, you know, there are a lot of churches like that. So if your neighbors are like that, you're like, well, as long as I live, whether that person dies or not, just dust, just dust. Is that keeping the commandment? Is that loving your neighbor? That rebellious person who they're not doing well, the children aren't doing well, they don't listen to God's word, but still you have to proclaim to them. That's Ezekiel chapter 2, verse 5 to 7. So for us, there's nothing for us to do but obey the word. So for us to receive blessings, they keep cursing us. Every time you're cursed, the blessings are poured out. So for me, it's so good. But those people who say these things, God, he starts by killing their children. Those people who are in the front line of slandering others, you know, and, and following what their pastors do, they eat up their children. That's how my child was taken away. I say, please don't do this. Why is it you want to die? And, and so that comes out in curses. So if you're not being cursed, then you're a fake. That person sits there not saying amen. Please, let's become someone who shines. So if you become someone who shines, then a thousand generations do what their desires are fulfilled. Ephesians chapter 5, verse, verse 8 and 9. So in the morning, when you depart from this worship and you go out into the world, all of the world is your mirror. That's what we, that was the word yesterday. Oh, just because that person has money, just because they're, they're the boss. So once, you know, you start earning a bit of money, you start to lift your head high. And that's when you'll truly die. Soon, one of the spouses will be going to hospital. And then they say, oh, just when we're about to live comfortably, you know, that's when we get disease. That's what God says. If you earn money without doing four-step repentance, once you say, oh, now we can, we can start breathing a bit, that's when one of your spouses is killed. That's God's promise. So what about those people who remain? They will die in even a worse way. So what is it we should do when one has disease and so when money departs it takes a person's life so you end up doing crazy things you end up being a guarantor to someone you know you've been so so in order to get so these people who lend out all this money and then they're ruined You've probably seen that with your parents. You see these uh, real estate, you know, people who they can't even feed themselves. I'm sure you've seen uh, uh, all sorts of things. You know, with property, you see these siblings fighting. You know, the parents are a, a, a secondary thing. So you, you've you experienced it, you've heard it from those around you, and yet you still cannot realize. So does God not want to give you blessings? He says if you shine, he will give them to you. How thankful is this? You know, there's nothing as pitiful as someone who lives in darkness and goes back to darkness. But if you don't do according to God's word, he takes away from you. So what is, what is it to shine? Well, the mystery of Christ is light. So you have to become someone who, who witnesses this. So let's read verse 8 and 9. For you were formerly darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Walk as children of light. For the fruit of the light consists in all goodness and righteousness and truth. Amen. So because of time, 
So enough for you to meditate on this and to have your desires fulfilled. If you go into a department store when you're really hungry, you know, if you go to an, a department store, even if they're going to give you a diamond or something like that, you're not interested in that. You're just looking for some needles or something. If you're hungry, do you go around shopping for clothes? But the more of a beast you are, the more you seek after eating. Someone who's interested in eating a lot, that's someone who's not worth having having anything to do with. That's Proverbs chapter 23. So before, it could be an hour, it could be 10 minutes, it could be one minute, yesterday, the day before. So before, in verse 8, it says, what were you? Light or darkness? 1 John. Chapter 5, verse 19. Even if you have so many doctrines, doctorates and you have, you know, self-mastery, it's, it's darkness. If you're in darkness, no matter how many good works you do, there are no fruits. That's in verse 11. I'll read it. Do not participate in the unfruitful deeds of darkness. You know, you say that that's success, but it says, but, but do not partake in them, but... It, Instead, even expose them. These people who say, oh, I'm a, you know, I'm, I've got some position. You're a filthy person who harms others. You're evil. You don't have good fruits. And yet these idiots who say that they're respect worthy. It is so sad. Why is it you keep doing these idiotic things and then you say, why isn't God giving me blessings? So you say, oh, they still do well. They receive a, a good name. No, they're servants. Just because they've been upgraded to another level of being a servant, you call that success? Other people are receiving, you know, 10 sacks of rice just because you see them receiving 13 sacks of rice. You think that that's success? So yes, you may do something in the world, but you have to do it as light, not as darkness. So before you were of the darkness, so just before you were darkness, but but someone who does false step repentance continuously and everything is so bright, then you don't have to worry. And if you see a bomb in front of you, you'll avoid it. So if there's light, you won't fall into the darkness. So someone who has light is okay, but those who are, they're all in darkness. So it says you were in the darkness, but now where are you? In the Lord. So what is the Lord? It's when you repent. How much do you have to repent of your sins and your ancestors' sins that you are not polluted by the world? It's when you become godly, that's when the Lord meets you. But, you know, you're so polluted by the world easily. And if someone says something, you agree with them. So you don't go inside of the Lord. If you want to go inside the Lord, where do you meet the Lord? By the mystery of Christ, the mystery of God coming inside of, inside of me first. And it's when you continuously repent of your sins and your ancestors' sins that you meet the Lord. And that's when you start becoming light. So if you've become light, so it says here but now you are light in the Lord walk as children of light so then what are your actions to be a child of, of the light who is it around me that hates me demons may curse you but in the end those demons ask you to help them that's the type of person you have to change to so in the Lord your actions change so if you go in the Lord they will change so you need to repent until your conscience is revived and you meet the Lord. So if you meet the Lord, then you change. How do you change? Well, verse 9, for the fruit of the light. So if you, someone who's repented of their sins and their ancestors' sins and have met the Lord, what kind of person have they changed to? It's not just to be good in one area. If I go to a restaurant, 
전에 냄비 한개 가지고 라면 끼리 팔던 그런 성질이 아직도 음. 마음이 You know, if you have a heart where you only have a heart where you can only cook ramen in a little pot, and then you get moved to where there's a big pot, and you're like, oh, but I can only cook, you know, the little one. And I think, Lord, when, when will your heart be enlarged? So according to what your hands do, how your hands work, is it different? If you're If you're cooking ramen in a little pot, as opposed to a really big pot, but you know, you end up coming to to my wife and saying, you know, it's too hard. But you haven't done things to the point of death. When it says here to be to be good. And what's the second? So if you're good in all things, then you have to be righteous. And then after that, you have to be. So at work, wherever you go, if there's someone who is truthful, starting from me, I would entrust my things to them. You know, you don't even need to look back to be if if you've got someone like Joseph. But even when you're looking, they're trying to um, take off with your. Um, embezzle you. So how can you be truthful unless you're inside of the Lord? So Galatians chapter 6 verse 7, we reap what we sow. So if I've done things as evil, then only evil returns. You may say, I live goodly, but have you been in the Lord? Have you repented of your ancestors' sins? Have you repented of your sins? No. So these people who called me a heretic Because I said to repent of your ancestors' sins. Which church repents of their ancestors' sins? And you say that you're doing it, but are you doing well? You know, people, those people who, you know, and they end up just cursing. So there's only people who are ruining themselves and their country. That's what darkness is. So why are you here to be good? and righteous and truthful in all things. That means you have to be in the Lord. So to do what? So that your desires will be fulfilled. Let's find Proverbs chapter 10, verse 24. So or each one of us has a heart of having our desires fulfilled. Some people have more than a hundred, a thousand. So to have, to receive them, you have to go inside of Christ and to... So by forced at repentance, if Christ is coming to your heart, Christ is patience. When you continue to do that patiently, that's when you go inside of the Lord. So if you're in the Lord, then your actions change. But what? which of your actions have changed? You still have that past deceit. You still have that past laziness. So there's nothing that's changed. So you're not in the Lord. So you may have a lot of desires. Why don't they work out? Let's go in the Lord. How do you go inside the Lord? You have to keep repenting of your sins and your ancestors' sins. I can't do it, but the Lord, but God makes us godly. Let's not be polluted by the world. How good is God? So you and I have all brought our desires. Why aren't we given? Because we're not someone who shines. You know, I don't know how you know all these famous wealthy people's houses. You know, you talk about... So, you know, those people, are they light or darkness? They're darkness. They're, they're working vainly. As, as servants. Don't live like that. I'm not saying whether it's good or bad. Anyone can do well. Let's live as light. And may a thousand generations receive blessings. We've come here to receive that. We've come to have our desires fulfilled. So to be righteous, it's only in the Lord. Proverbs chapter 10, verse 24. Let's read it. What the wicked fears will come upon him, but the desire of the righteous will be granted. Amen. So in the world, there's only the evil and the righteous. You know, people talk about whether someone's active or passive or positive.
So, we want to do well, we've brought our desires. Why aren't our desires working out? Because you're not someone who shines. You need to be someone of the light. The only way is to go inside of the Lord. Then what happens? Your actions change. So, if you want to come to dawn service, who is it that hinders you? You know. So, our flesh is our enemy. Our flesh, they're like, let's just sleep five more minutes. And then already an hour has passed. So my flesh hinders me. And then if you win over your flesh a little bit, then it's your spouse that becomes a water spirit. You know, before they would snore and sleep well, but then at that time, they're like, where are you going? So you have to be righteous for your desires to be fulfilled. If you have a lot of desires, it means that you're not righteous. If you're not righteous, then you're evil. So if you're evil, what comes? Disasters. And that's why you have difficulties. You don't know what difficult uh, disasters will come today. But Psalm chapter 46, verse 5, God says he'll help at this time. Let's receive help and go inside of the Lord and have our desires fulfilled. What happens if your desires are fulfilled? Well, Proverbs chapter 20, verse 7, your, your descendants will do well. So if your descendants aren't doing well, then you're evil. You're not righteous. You're not in the Lord. So if you're not in the Lord, then you're not someone who shines. So if you're in the Lord, if you have light, that's where Jesus, God, they're all there. So someone inside of the Lord, do you know how their actions change? They say, I have the most sin, I am the most evil. But you're like, oh, why aren't you acknowledging me? So you're opposite. If you go inside of the Lord, James chapter 4 verse 10, it says to be humbled. So it's when you are humbled that you can be good, which is in the Lord. So you don't know what the meaning of, to, of goodness is. You know, we don't have time today. We'll do it some other time. But to be good, it's where you are humbled unlimitedly. But you're like, oh, what, you don't, you don't recognize me? If someone does that inside of the church, then you're asking for death. So, um, this person who, once they start getting money in their pocket, they're like, oh, how should I live now? That means you're not good. You're out already outside of the Lord. You're not someone who shines. So who knows this? You have to be in the light and have light to know what is darkness. So someone who can stand here and preach a sermon, you have to first be light. Do you want your desires to be fulfilled? Let's become someone who is of uh, a person of the light. That means you have to go inside of the Lord. Once you're outside of the Lord, it's curses. So from this time, let's go inside of the Lord. Let's close our eyes quietly. So it's, it's, it's getting to be half an hour. So let's close our eyes quietly. Our ancestors' sins. That's what ruins what you've done 99%. You're like, oh, I've you know planned this schedule really well. Why doesn't it work out? You know, how can you eat food? How can you listen to a sermon where you know a, a spoon of poo's being put in there? How is it that you can read those books that these demons have written and you waste that time? You know, instead of repenting, you're sinning even more. How can demons have love? How can they have light? How can demons say things to help others? It's all about boasting of their name. They're the worst of evil. And they're just crazy to earn money. We need to pay attention. So you have to become a child of light. You have to shine. How? In Christ. How? By repenting of my sins and my ancestors' sins. It's only someone in the Lord that is righteous. That's who their desires will be fulfilled. That's the children become obe obedient. That's Proverbs 20, verse 7. So whatever your ancestors have done, close our eyes and let's think, well, let's, let's think about what our ancestors have done. So if you raised, if you were raised in an orphanage, what you remember the adults did, what you read, what you saw in dramas or read in books or 
when you go to work, someone older than you, you know, the filthy things that your ancestors did, that's what they're doing in front of you. Exactly. That's what your grandfather, grandmother, mother, father did. So you're shown with, your, with a mirror. So that's what we have to repent of. But when we look at that, we're like, oh, how can that be a man? What? How can that person have money or a building? And we criticize them. Let's repent of this and let's realize that it's my mirror. If we confess, we will live. Let's call upon the Lord three times. Lord, Lord, Lord. Father God, thank you. Father God, thank you. Because you've given us realizations, may we thoroughly repent and live. May we live.